And how hard is PA school uh, based on your experience so far? Uh, what's been the most difficult part? So I'd say PA school is, is really hard, <laughs> but it's also not hard because you love everything that you're learning. At least that's how I, my experience has been. So I feel like in undergrad, some classes were so hard because you didn't want, you weren't interested in the materials. So that's what made them hard. But P school is hard because of the volume of information that you have to learn within such a short time. And especially if you don't have macro knowledge in certain areas, you're having to, lot, to do a lot of learning. So for example, at U of T, we are required to take anatomy in our first semester. And in my undergrad, I had not taken anatomy before. So it was a big learning curve to me to go through so much in such a short time. Similarly with physiology, I think our instructor said that we were going through like a year's worth material in just a, sh a few short months. So um, it's very fast paced. But like I said, because the environment is so supportive and encouraging, that is so different than undergrad when you're kind of looking at your neighbor and comparing marks, at least that was my experience, um, then it's, it's very different because you just want to know the materials so you can serve your patients um, to the best of your ability and just become the best provider that you can be. So that would be my take on how hard PA school is. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's, it's really intense. Like, and it's funny because like you always hear that. Like I remember as a pre-PA, I would hear students say like, it's really, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I get it. But you don't really get it until you're actually in it. Um, but um, I think it really changes to like the type of difficulty. I find first semester, for example, was super hard because everything is new. Like the way it's delivered is just the volume. You're not used to it. And then like your study methods are from undergrad are no longer, most of, most of the time not, you can't use them anymore. So you have to change your study methods find what's working for you. Like for me and Hannah actually was, was Anki and like the, the, like the cue cards, but then you have to learn how Anki works, but then everything is still keeping going. So it's really adapting. So like, for me, that was difficult. Like in first semester, I personally kind of forgot what self-care was. Like I, I stopped working out. I stopped care. I ate, like I gained a lot of weight. <laughs> it was like stress eating and whatever. So that was really hard. But by the time we were finished with first semester, I had my groove in terms of like study methods. So once we entered second semester, that was something that I was behind me and I was like much more comfortable. I was able to reintegrate like working out and like, you know, being more mindful about what I'm eating. Uh, but then the difficulty, like the, the content we're learning, that's harder. So it's, it's funny. It's a weird, like things are, are difficult in different ways. Um, but it's just, I, I feel like keeping an open mind and um, like kind of said earlier, like not forget, um, you know, to, to, to care about yourself and, and uh, not get lost in like just thinking about school. That's also very important to me. Yeah, I love what you said, MC, flexibility. I think as a student, that's like so important, the ability to be flexible in different learning environments. And I, I think it really helps with your success as a student. And how are you graded in PA school? Is it pass-fail? Do you get percentages? So we are given percentages in most of our classes. Some of them are more just kind of like you've done the assignment, um, so just kind of like a check mark, but the majority of our classes are percentage graded and you are required to kind of uh, get a 70% on the assignments or else you have to do extra work to kind of catch up on that material. So the program does really want to see all the students succeed because they know that getting to PA school is extremely difficult and it's uh, you've shown academic excellence to get to the program and they know that you're strong students and they know it's a lot of material to learn as well. So they really want to support you through that entire process. There's academic supports available. The class environment is no longer competitive because your classmates are working together, sharing notes, having online Jeopardy sessions to study together. So it, it's very, um, it's, a, it's a nice environment. It's a, a big change from undergrad when everybody's just working towards that professional degree to get the high GPAs and apply to those programs. So I think that's a, that's something that's really special and cool about PA school. Yeah, and I would also add quickly, like I know like Hannah was saying like in undergrad, like I would want to always have like A plus, like, you know, 95 and more if I can, 90, because you are thinking about that GPA because if you are applying to PA school, you know, it's competitive or if you're thinking about med school, you know, it's competitive. But once you're in PA school, like for me anyways, like PA school for me is the end game. Like that's what I want to do. So my GPA, I, I, we're all... I don't think we're gunners though. I think we're, we're all like, we're like high, we all strive to get really good grades just because that's how we're programmed. But at the same time, it doesn't matter. Like grades don't really matter like for your like 
your file anymore. It's more that you want to absorb the information so you can use it later on with your patients. Like that's what matters now. So it's a nice shift. I find like before you're like, oh, you need that number. But now it's like, do I understand the content? Because I'll be using it later. And do you think it's possible to work while in PA school, given the volume of the workload, uh, especially in first year? Yeah, so MC probably has a bit more to share on this. I did not work in PA school. I initially had thought that I'd continue working a few hours at the clinic. Uh, But then when I saw that the program itself advised kind of against working, I was like, okay, it's probably serious. I probably should not work while I'm doing PA school. And I really just wanted to focus on my studies. So I decided not to continue working. And I'm pretty happy with that decision. And it has allowed me to hold some extracurricular activities on the side, um, which if I think if I was working, then I wouldn't be able to do anything except school and work. So I'm glad and I'm happy that I made that decision. Yeah, so our school does, um, you know, recommend that we don't work. And that's something that they always say when once you enter, they, they prefer why we don't work. Um, some students do work. I actually started last semester working one day a week. And it was like a short day. It's not even like, it was, I think like, five or six hours I'm like oh like that's fine but I ended up being so overwhelmed because like I said earlier everything just changes the content it's super heavy and I just got so stressed and I found that I, I didn't have leverage anymore for like self-care kind of what like Hannah was saying like she wants to use that free time for stuff that she likes and I was just using that time to work and it kind of sucked so I actually ended up uh, taking a small break from working um, during first semester. So I ended up not working at all. Uh, but I, then in winter semester, I kind of missed being with patients. And especially that we're online so much, it's like in front of our computer screens and I'm like a social person. I need to talk and like interact with people. And I was really missing that. It was actually weighing like really heavy on me. So I actually decided to kind of go back to work, but very, very minimally. So I only worked like two half days per month which is nothing um but like for me that's enough because it, it, it like it does bring in a little money it, it helps me interact with patients but it doesn't impact you know my schoolwork and I still am able to have time for myself um and you know like I kind of said like for extra uh, curricular activities but we do have some classmates that work more I don't know how they do it like some people work like two weekends a month or three weekends a month or even like two times a week I personally would not be able to do that just because of the I don't know how they do it Kudos to them, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend that. Yeah, I don't know how they do. <laughs>